Hi guys and welcome back to episode 34 of the raid series. In the previous episode we went into factory, we got a heap of PMC kills in the office area and killed together and then went across to customs to start working on Punisher Part 3. In this episode we will continue on doing Punisher Part 3, try and get those 25 scav kills on customs with the AKS 74U and then work it out from there. Hopefully we get Rishala in the process. So without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So, from the last episode, we were able to kill Tagila, and we actually got a heap of uh, BS ammo, so it gives us an option. I really want to get some, some AKS-74 uh, use that are not just stock standard this, this episode, um, and then that way when we go in, we'll have a lot more success. Um, we don't need to go super sweaty geared for this. I, I don't really want to wear the UN armor and helmet, but... We could just build up, you know? We'll build up a little bit. We're not rolling in the cash. We've got a little bit, 400k. Uh, we still need to do another scav run. Uh, for our daily. I'm filming two episodes today just because of... Uh, I've been sick and with the subathon and all that. Just uh, trying to get us back to having a little bit of a buffer again so we don't have, run into any issues about having uh, multiple days in a row where I miss episodes. So... I still just film five episodes a week. It's not like I'm filming a hundred episodes and disappearing for a month or two. Um, okay, so now we need AKS 74 use. The current meta is the AKS 74 UB. This is my crapper. Crapper! What? what is going on with the traders today? Okay, UN, UB. You have to buy it with a suppressor? Maybe you do. I'll see you like that. This is weird. There's like this weird lag. All right, let's just get two of them. Add gateway. Get two of them. That way they're already suppressed. Don't know if we can put that on. It all works good. I think the idea is to put on this. We can just put on that. I think we have Peacekeeper 3. Find out, I guess. Yeah, I like this. This is this is the me me way. Now, the, the meta way of doing it is to put on uh, the reactor with the waffle. But to do that, it's going to be very expensive. So let's just keep it uh, with what we had. So... Now, we don't want to just have it as players. We can buy from, from our boy Peacekeeper, we should. Symbol, select weapon. Symbol. All right, so. Couple of mags. Or we could chuck a 60 on. And put some BP in the other ones. Should be some emphasis on surviving this because of um We don't want to blow through all our cash. But we do have two guns there. If we could get a better armor, I'd be happy. I'm kind of low in cash now that I spit on that on the gun. We don't have ragman to the next level either. Our best option is for class fours. Hmm. I don't really want to roll this. But we can. But we can. And then all we have to do is switch this around. Cool. Put that there. So we've got some extra ammo. Alright, let's try and get a couple of uh a couple of kills. Get a backpack in. Make some money. No death run. Let's go. Wouldn't mind just selling something to make a little bit of money. And let's sell the Tegula helmet. I wouldn't mind insuring the gun. Alright, let's go. Alright, we are in. 
We have the uh, crossroads extract spawn. <sighs> A couple ways to do this, really. Um, we can actually just go left here and just hang out on this side of the map. I think Rishala's up. There's a okay. So let me explain. Let me explain what happened. So if there's no lag sp spike at the 39, 37, 39 minutes, 38 second mark, a lag spike, the boss is up. Right. It works on Killer and Rashala. And it's at like 39 minutes, 45 seconds for Sturman. Something around that. 48 seconds. It's different times each one, by the sounds of it. That's, so that would be like one of the Rashala boys killing a scab. So we could head there now. Now, it's it's very well known across the community, at least, at least from the streaming side of things, about that little tidbit. I think it's lame, but at the same time, if everyone knows it, it makes it so it's kind of, and you can't avoid it. Like you, if you don't see the lag, you're like, well, I guess he's up. But I, I do hope they fix it though. I do hope the element of surprise is much better. All right, so there's someone in there already killing him. We've got two kills, so six total now. 19 to go. A really bad spawn for the boss, so the chance of us actually getting there and him still being up. I'm surprised that. Oh. I'm surprised that we heard that shot in there and then nothing else after it, though. Could mean that he died to the boss, but we need that respirator. bring any grenades unfortunately so I'm gonna just run over this hill bit Charlotte's still up He's on the staircase. Than half. All right, I'm gonna reload. I'm hoping he pushed off then. I didn't realize he was still on the staircase.
Man, you got ammo here. Hey, this should have BTMO in it. I'm trying to be quick because I don't want any more players to come. All right, Rochelle is dead. Yuck. Do you not want to fight these guys on staircases? Alright, so the best way to do this now, after we've killed that, is to actually go out through the end. So we've killed Rashala. We just need to get the golden TT if it's up. And to keep an eye out for the car extract, it's up. Quick ammo check to where we're sitting. Believe they're all dead. Golden TT's here, so we want to we want to get out. So the second we can find the, that money, we should really be leaving. So the so the guys, the minions usually have uh, have the uh, have cash on them. To check their pockets for it. This sucks. Then bring cash in, I should have. Yeah, this guy's gonna have cash on him. What keys do I have? 114? I have 214, 204. We might get enough. We might get enough. Don't know how much our rep's gonna reduce the price. Might be a little bit, might be a lot. 
this is not helping. We have 110, 114, 104. If we could actually get the cash here. Strangely enough, I kind of like the, the idea of doing this. See the red lines on. A very still red laser. the run The reason we had to run is Golden TT. We don't want to risk losing it over just simple little PvP battle. Could be some mega chat in there, could be some Bloby, but we don't want to take on a fight we don't have to. Old gas is open, which is huge for us. I'm just running. Spawned in at the uh, crossroads spawn. Uh, we through like the little custom shacks. Went across the dorms. We knew there was a, we knew Rochelle was there. We could also hear the gun shots of it and uh, the dead player in there. Killed all the, the guards in that. And then uh, started doing the looting. I was in there, got out and then headed towards Old Gas to get it. But, uh, yeah, to survive. So 9,400 XP, huge. We also got, um, eight scavs out of that because the boss and the guards also count towards scav kills so 
There's that. We also got level 30, which is for um, unlocking mechanic level four, three, mechanic level three, uh, which adds to a heap of extracts. Uh, not extracts, sorry, a uh, heap of upgrade upgrades for us. So solid, very solid, right? Uh, we were able to avoid that other play that was in there with the red laser. At least part two, I'm guessing from level 30. Handed over that Coftum. Athlete. A four day gives us two more levels, so we have to do is health. Yeah, one more level when we're there. All right, we've got a vitamins. We've got a vitamins hand in. We've got a lot done then. We got trophy done. This is so annoying as well. You get trophy done and then it says, go back and kill these guards. It's like, well, you had to kill the guards anyway. Why make us do it again? Anyway, Park of Logic. Um, there's a requirement to hand over two of these, so we can hold on to that for now. Sorted. Labs card. We I think we already got the two ready to go. We do, so we can sell that. This is a bit more money. Oh, just happiness all round. We got a mag case from that. Need another mag case? I don't know. Put them in there for now. These in here for now. Right. I think that's all we need from that. I think we just continue on doing Punisher. 13 more kills to go. Would like to take a little bit of cash with this so we don't have to worry about farming safes and stuff. And probably wouldn't hurt to take a bit of ammo with it, just in case we uh, get stuck with the ammo side of things again. We could do one factory survive scav run. Just to get that out of the way and then win it. All right, we're in. Cheeky 50k cash. Let's see if we can get a respirator. We'll get us our last respirator. We'll look for dead scavs. Hello, sir. Is this guy's got a respirator? beard he has a beard a big bushy beard how many dead scabs around I'll be just time to leave Oh well. 
We get the daily done at least. Bit of money, bit of a uh, bit of loot, more rep. Uh, I'm just gonna be lazy with this. Oh well. 62k. As your fence rep goes up, you get better loot. I've been doing fence runs now on my main account, and I literally just loot a couple of things on the way out. And the base loot they give me is nearly always around 150k or high, with just picking up a couple of items on the way to the extract. So it's just such an easy money. And us getting the hideout upgraded. I think we might have issues with Intel 3. I think we need to get an item from Labs. Yeah, you got to get this item from Labs. Actually, <sighs> we should be able to get generator up now. We can. Oh, God. All right, how much money do we have? It's going to be a bit of work. We could, we could sell this. We don't really need it. these sell for anything? Nope. Look at this. This does. What else do we have? Voodoo? Ooh. I think it's because it's uh, needed for the hunting task. worth much. Oops. All right. Okay, and let's sell them for much. Not really? I wonder if we'll get, we have enough to get the generator done. Pretty cool if we did. One, two, three, four. This is the most expensive part, I think. Six of these. Two. Got one. Two. Really? Four more. One. 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 No loot. I'm gonna do a different one. Three motors. One, two, three. And spark plugs. One, two. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven of these. Not there yet. And now we are sitting in a predicament financially and space wise. Oh, DVD sold. This is what I do. I cause messes. All right, what's another way I can make some money? What have I got down here? I know I could sell these rollers and the skull rings. I don't think this will get us over the line though. Or the voodoo sold. Alright, that might. That might get us over the line. 
One more of these. Mm, three more of these. One, two, three. Cool. All right, that's being done. <sighs> what do we need for library? I think it's going to be rest area, right? Rest space. We need memory. And generator. Cool. That's been done. Now we can just move on with doing another raid. We need... We need more scabs. Let's do it. All right, we're in. We got 13 scav kills to go. Got to get Rashala's boys. That's pretty much it for customs, I think. I got Polycom Hobo, which just killed five more scams. I see that lag spike there. No Rashala. Pitching your bad habits, but oh well. We'll look for some scams, but we're not going over there. That's dangerous. We really do need to focus on making sure we survive this one. Because we're going to be poor otherwise. I'd like to get this quest done. If possible, this raid. Uh, it's shots in dorms already. Wow. Sometimes you get scavs in this area here. So something I'm going to deliberately do here is actually take my time and just do a little bit of looting over here. And the whole purpose about that is I'm just I'm just going to wait for some scavs to start spawning. If we just run straight to, to like old gas, the scavs in this area probably won't spawn in time. So we're better off just waiting a minute or slowing it down a little bit. Did he go inside? I still. And went around here. I caught that as it was dropping, but right, I'm going to go back through boiler now. Memory level six. I'm going to go back through boiler now and then um, this, this side's called boiler. Hopefully there'll be more scabs back there. We've got one. I think we need 13. So I'm going to go for all 13 this raid, even if I die trying. Throwing grenades is a great way to find where scabs are. Sounds like he's up against the wall. Do 
Should be careful with people on that hill. I don't get clapped by them. Can run back this way. Relatively quiet on this side of the map. They probably all run to like. They probably all run up to like uh, the stronghold or the dorms. Out over here now. I've, I generally don't spend this long in the one area. Mostly because if someone's trying, trying to hunt down players and you spend too long in the one area, that person's going to come stump on you. I'm due with like class 5 armor. We pimped out MK or something, M4, and just stump on you, so. Sounds like new guys, so let's get away from there. We're not here to kill players, we're here to kill scavs. Gonna jump over the wall here. And then we're gonna go put the power on. Rolling suppress can really work to your favor when you're trying to hunt scabs without getting engaged in PvP as well. Interesting. Play, by the way. I thought I heard him healing, so that's why I pushed quickly. I could have been wrong then, but... This guy's probably doing... Uh, the setup task? No? Oh, on cal Calibre. an SVD shooting there. AP20s. Ouch. He would have hurt me. He would have one-tapped me. <laughs> right, let's uh, top that up. We might need to top up one of our mags too. Just have a quick check of how much ammo is in there. Not much at all. This is going to take a little bit to reload. Alright, so we've killed... Maybe four scavs so far. I'm just trying to think of the top of my head. One, two, three, four. Definitely four scavs. These six round bags take forever. We've got nine to go. We don't have to fully fill it up, you know. Just a little bit in there would be nice. Alright, good enough. I'm going to turn power on now. I could go new gas. He, he could have been the guy that came from new gas. I don't know if you opened the doors or not. I definitely want to check old gas. That's new gas there if new here. 
Old gas is in front of us. Hmm. I'm not really sure where that shot was. Touching the bodies for XP. I don't think there's any scabs there. My respirator. Oh, that's a win. Also means someone to be in here, so we're gonna be careful of that. Could have been that guy, but you just never know. Eight to go. Let's not just get that. Cool. Right, cool. He's down. Probably be able to loot him with that ball. So when you're aiming up at someone, you generally just need to aim center of mass or just below the head. And you'll headshot them. Stay a little bit clear of dorms and dorms and stronghold. Let's get out of here. This is just creeping me out now. I don't know how many guys were on, but. Clear of strongholds, stay clear of Oh, that's punish you done. Sweet! Get out, get the respirator out, and then we're done. I said stay clear of strongholds, stay clear of dorms, so we shouldn't have to run into many players. <clears throat> I hope oh there was a shot over there or something over there. It was a very weird audio thing. So I'm going to go. God. 
I'm gonna go through back in dorms. I'm gonna go through um elbow. Run, 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 run. I don't think we need any more scabs for anything, so let's just get, get out of here. Got that respirator. But we can hear him running. This is like excessive amount of scabs now. Can't hit, I can't see him. Big dub, big dub. All right. What a hint, scabs and a player. That was nice. That was very nice indeed. All right, so we see 300 XP from that. We didn't go dorms because um, there was no scab boss there. And uh, we just focused on boiler and then we was just getting out of the map. We ran into one player that was heading towards old gas. We heard a heap of shots near um, Stronghold. I think that was a sniper scat, like the out of bounds sniper also shooting. And then we heard shots in dorm. So I try to avoid all those spots. I did go to New Gas um, in hope to find more scabs, but that was probably the only hot spot that I went to. Uh, but huge raid. So glad that we didn't get hit by a player. Okay, that's general waste complete too. So it worked out really well for us. So Polycom Hobo done. Oh, so this is the regulated materials task I was talking about. So we had to get that tank battery. And then we've got two of the OZ shells. Punish part three, done. Punish part four is, um, there's the five knives we're holding on to. 12 gauge shotgun kills uh, on woods, on scabs. And then we need to get 10 PMCs on shoreline while wearing a scab vest and bell clava. So, uh, a bit of a, bit of a nasty one, that one. It's a, it holds a lot of people up. So we're gonna try and do it because I think it'd be, it'd be good content for you guys. Uh, this is great XP, this one, beyond the red meat as well. Uh, all we have to do is go to the Beluga. And uh, it's 18,000 XP, so... Alright, we are... We, we are kicking buttocks. Kicking buttocks. Alright, let's get that. There's actually one more upgrade I would like to try and get done. I'm gonna need that for a gunsmith. Gonna dump for now. Um, I think it has value. Oh, doesn't ignore me. What is this? upgrade I would love to get before we finish off this episode is I'd love to get the workbench level 3 going. We can. We need one of these. Two of these. Two of these. And then we need 395. So... How do we do this? Right, man. Therapist? Oh, we've got um, this task to hand in too. I'll give us a bit more money.
colleagues, which is another shoreline task. Cool. These coffees sell for a bit at the moment too. Nice. Sell for anything, do they? Apparently. Apparently. Um, the. What a mess. What a mess. From it can sell. Iris should sell for a bit too, actually. We're gonna need these shotguns for Silent Caliber. Uh, doesn't hurt having those AKs. I still just don't have a. Uh... Ooh, nearly there. What do we got there? Nothing else sold. Cool, workbench upgrade. So, there was a reason why I wanted the workbench upgrade. I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, it's to make the O of Z shelf. So, for the last part of this task, we would be able to craft the shells. So, this gives us another way of making those shells. Cool! We have sales not unlocked. We need to get a gazelle armor damaged. We need to work on that. The so gazelle damaged. You just buy them off fence. A chance of that. I feel like there would be. Every now and then to be a damaged gazelle there. Um. Yeah, I think that would actually give us a lot of XP too. Uh, Cause so good part two, three, four, and then um, yeah, it's just a few few tasks there. We need to drop this stuff off here. I've barely been doing the gunsmith stuff. There is like twenty five gunsmith tasks now. I really should do some of those. Mo mostly because we should try and get to level thirty five as quickly as possible. Not as quickly as possible, but level thirty five unlocks private clinic, which gives us uh, a thick item case. Uh, and we already have both Ledex and the Ophthalmoscope for that. So it's quite nice. But thankfully, uh, we have the Bitcoin farm constructing. We have Workbench level 3 constructing. And we also have the Generator level 3 constructing. We have a lot of stuff that's going to start popping off very soon. And, uh, and I'm very happy about that. So, uh, and Library level 8. So we're going to have to work out how to get memory up. I think it's just mostly looting, but we don't have to get that leveled up too. That upgrade is probably going to be a rough one unless we find another tiger kind of item that we can sell for 8 million. There we go. Anyway, as for this episode, that is it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. We are smashing through some of this progression, which is great. We had a few hiccups, but now we're uh, now we're chewing bubblegum and, and uh, eating ass. Anyway, hopefully, you guys have been enjoying it. Make sure you are like and comment for the YouTube Elder Room. Share the raid series if anyone is new to Tarkov. And uh, say hi to your partner, your mum for me, whoever's here listening to me in the background. And lastly... I'll see you next time.